What's up everybody? So we're continuing to go back and have a look at what was being printed in the press at the time of Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey's arrest and what was being printed at the time their trial was going on. This first article today is from July 19th, 2006 and it is from the Madison, Wisconsin State Journal. The headline reads, Prosecution, Nephew Said Avery Killed to Go Back to Prison. Stephen Avery's nephew told authorities his uncle wanted to kill Teresa Haldock because he couldn't adjust to life to outside of prison and wanted to be back behind behind bars. The motion by Special Prosecutor Ken Kratz was among the documents unsealed Tuesday in Manitowoc County Circuit Court where a motion hearing in Avery's case was scheduled Wednesday before Judge Patrick Willis. The motion by Ken Kratz argues that the jury should not be told about the 18 years Stephen Avery spent in prison for rape before DNA evidence exonerated him and he was released in 2003. But Dean Strang contends evidence about Avery's time in prison cannot be ruled out if prosecutors require Brendan Dassey to testify about a related aspect. Dassey's alleged statements to authorities that Avery was unable to adjust after his release from prison and killed Halbach so he could go back. This next article is from August 10th, 2006, and it is from the Janesville Gazette. Now this is something that has been talked at length many, many times, and it is still one of the most truly bizarre things about the case to me. It is about the key that was found in Stephen Avery's bedroom. Key was found after repeated searches. The ignition key to a missing photographer's vehicle was found during the seventh search. Lieutenant James Lank of the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department testified on Wednesday that he and two other officers, along with a Columet County deputy, entered Stephen Avery's trailer seven times over five days after Teresa Hallbach's vehicle was found on the property on November the 5th. I've done a few videos on this particular topic in the past and Jerry Buting states that each one of those entries should have required its own search warrant. You're not supposed to be able to use the same search warrant over and over and over again. You're supposed to have a different search warrant for every search. Each search warrant only allows you entry into the property or into whatever it is you're searching one time, not seven times. This next article is from August 30th, 2006, and it is from the Janesville Gazette. Last week, a judge fired Brendan Dassey's first lawyer, Len Kuczynski, for allowing Dassey to be interviewed by police when an attorney was not present. Dassey initiated the May 13th interview and told investigators he and Avery planned the abduction and death of Teresa Hallbach several days before it happened. I don't care what you think happened, there is absolutely 0% chance that happened. The next article here is from September the 2nd, 2006, and it is from the Janesville Gazette. The trial for a teen accused with his uncle of rape and murder will begin in April. The judge in the case said Friday after the teen's new lawyer announced plans to withdraw a speedy trial request. Manitowoc County Circuit Court Judge Jerome Fox announced the change in a telephone conference with Brendan Dassey's new attorneys. So those are the articles we're going to go over here today. The big one, of course, is the key. The key found in Stephen Avery's trailer after seven searches on one search warrant by police officers and investigators and detectives and whoever else that weren't even supposed to be searching. There was supposed to be nobody from Manitowoc County searching. They were just supposed to be there to offer support. But, you know, they're the ones that found most of the evidence. Coincidence? I don't think so. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.